For centuries, humans have harbored a profound fascination with the exploration of the vast cosmos. Throughout history, our ancestors would often gaze up into the heavens, captivated by what lay beyond our earthly realm. Thanks to notable advancements and breakthroughs in technology and scientific understanding, the realm of space travel has become more accessible than ever before. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, renowned for its remarkable contributions and countless discoveries, holds an esteemed position as one of the world's most prestigious research agencies and trailblazers in space exploration. Since embarking on its maiden voyage, NASA has witnessed a myriad of technological advancements and groundbreaking findings facilitated by its dedicated team of researchers. One of the intriguing topics that has sparked widespread discussion revolves around a classified Apollo mission. While official statements indicate that later Apollo missions were abandoned due to stringent budget constraints and proposals being discarded entirely, amateur researchers posit an alternative theory. They propose that rather than scrapping these missions, NASA clandestinely returned to the lunar surface without public knowledge, driven by the objective of retrieving an enigmatic, unidentified spacecraft. This hypothesis has prompted a deeper exploration into the possibility of covert lunar expeditions conducted by NASA post the publicly acknowledged Apollo missions. Before we proceed, it is crucial to acknowledge the official stance from NASA and other authorities who contend that the alleged mission referenced here never occurred. According to these officials, the mission was merely a product of speculation that arose when people delved too deeply into the reasons behind its cancellation. The explanation provided by NASA is simple. Budget constraints rendered the future mission financially unsustainable. However, despite these assertions, amateur researchers persist in suggesting a different narrative. Their argument revolves around encounters with unidentified flying objects during several Apollo missions, positing that such encounters prompted NASA's interest in exploring the region further. It is important to note that these claims are not fabricated. Numerous astronauts throughout the years have come forward with their own first-hand accounts of witnessing unidentified objects. Interestingly, when asked about these encounters years later, many of these astronauts display a hesitancy to comment and often attribute their experiences to natural phenomena, raising suspicions that they might have been instructed not to disclose what they had witnessed. This behavior has prompted speculation among some observers, who propose the idea that these astronauts were specifically instructed to withhold information regarding their encounters. In recent times, there has been a growing fascination with the enigmatic and unexplored portion of the Moon known as the Dark Side. This frequently used term denotes the fact that the Moon consistently presents the same physical hemisphere to the Earth, resulting in the existence of a perpetually concealed side. However, this concealed side has become the subject of numerous conjectures, many of which propose the presence of bases or other intriguing phenomena. One intriguing theory posits that humans have established substantial outposts on this lunar territory, strategically choosing this location due to its perpetual obfuscation from Earth's view. This strategic positioning allows them to clandestinely engage in activities without the fear of detection or interference. Uncovering the secrets hidden within the dark side of the moon has become a riveting pursuit, captivating the imagination of both scientists and enthusiasts alike. Researchers have been captivated by a clandestine undertaking involving the retrieval of enigmatic vessels. This mission purportedly succeeded in locating these enigmatic crafts, uncovering not only their existence, but also unearthing ancient cities that have seemingly stood for millennia. While this hypothesis may hold true, it hasn't deterred individuals from delving into the study of this intriguing phenomenon. One noteworthy figure, formerly in charge of a covert government program tasked with investigating unidentified flying objects, has recently come forward with astounding assertions. They have divulged to various media outlets that the existence of extraterrestrial life cannot be discounted. Moreover, they have revealed that millions of dollars have been allocated towards the exploration of unconventional technologies associated with these enigmatic aerial occurrences, commonly known as unidentified aerial phenomena. The media frenzy surrounding these revelations has captured the attention of people worldwide, given that individuals have been reporting encounters with inexplicable luminous objects in the sky for the past eight decades. It is essential to bear in mind that an unidentified object is merely an object that someone cannot identify in the given moment. Naturally, 
the possibility of Earth being visited by another form of life instills excitement in some individuals. Notably, some argue that if one is inclined to believe reports of unidentified objects, it would be prudent to place trust in the accounts provided by those who have actually ventured into space. A roster of esteemed astronauts, including Edgar Mitchell, Katie Coleman and Dr. Brian O'Leary, have publicly acknowledged witnessing UFOs. Additionally, Buzz Aldrin has recounted his own encounter during the Apollo 11 mission when they espied an object soaring alongside their spacecraft. Initially, they assumed it was the final stage of the detached rocket until mission control confirmed that it was a staggering 6,000 miles away from them. This multifaceted and thorough exploration of the UFO phenomenon is driven by the objective of enriching our understanding of these perplexing sightings. While naysayers may abound, the revelations from seasoned experts and the continuous research efforts contribute to a comprehensive and neutral assessment of these otherworldly encounters. Former NASA astronaut Dr. Brian O'Leary has stated that there exists a substantial body of evidence suggesting that we have been in contact with advanced civilizations for an extended period of time. These encounters defy our conventional understanding from a materialistic Western perspective presenting a distinctly perplexing and unconventional nature. Moreover, these visitors employ advanced consciousness-based technologies, such as toroids and co-rotating magnetic disks, as propulsion systems, which appear to be a fundamental characteristic of the UFO phenomenon. This remarkable assertion by Dr. Brian O'Leary posits that numerous instances of contact with extraterrestrial civilizations have taken place throughout history, challenging the conventions of our traditional worldview. The evidence supporting these claims is extensive, pointing towards a reality that transcends our familiar realms of perception. For decades, the International Space Station has been a symbol of international cooperation in space exploration. Orbiting the Earth at an altitude of approximately 400 kilometers, the space station serves as a hub for scientific research and experiments. However, it has also gained attention for another, more mysterious reason the frequent sightings of unidentified flying objects near the International Space Station. While skeptics often dismiss these sightings as mere anomalies or space debris, there is a growing body of evidence suggesting that some of these unidentified objects could indeed be connected to extraterrestrial beings. One compelling reason for unidentified objects to appear near the space station is scientific curiosity. Just as humans have a fascination with exploring other worlds and celestial bodies, it is not unreasonable to assume that advanced civilizations may share the same curiosity about our planet and space endeavors. If aliens exist and have advanced technology, they may be observing the space station to gain insights into our technology, biology and the progress of our civilization. The International Space Station, with its continuous human presence and advanced scientific equipment, presents a unique opportunity for extraterrestrial observers to study us. From an alien perspective, Monitoring human activities in space, particularly near the space station, may be essential for assessing our technological advancements and potential threats. If advanced beings are real and genuinely concerned about the welfare of the universe, they might be keeping a close eye on Earth's space activities to ensure that we do not pose a threat to other cosmic civilizations. By observing our presence near the space station, they can gauge our intentions and capabilities in space, potentially intervening if necessary to prevent any destructive consequences. The sightings of unidentified objects near the space station may also be indicative of extraterrestrial interest in establishing contact or collaboration with humanity. If aliens are real and genuinely benevolent, they might be seeking peaceful interactions with us, and the space station, as a symbol of international cooperation in space, could be a logical point of contact. These sightings may represent their efforts to communicate or establish a peaceful relationship, possibly sharing knowledge, technology, or insights about the universe. Another plausible reason for unidentified objects near the space station could be resource exploration. If advanced civilizations exist, they may have identified valuable resources on Earth or in our immediate vicinity. The space station, as a human outpost in space, might be strategically located for resource assessment and extraction. These unidentified object sightings could be indicative of their attempts to scout and evaluate the potential benefits of such resources, all while remaining discreet to avoid interference from humans. Earth, with its abundant life and diverse ecosystems, 
may be a rare and valuable gem in the cosmic neighborhood. Advanced beings, if they exist, could be drawn to our planet's unique attributes. They might be studying the space station as part of a broader effort to understand the conditions that support life on Earth and the factors that contribute to its sustainability. By observing the space station, they can gather data on our planet's atmosphere, climate, and biological systems, all of which may be of great interest to them. Some sightings near the space station could represent accidental encounters between extraterrestrial spacecraft and the space station, and just as space missions require careful navigation and coordination to avoid collisions with other objects in orbit, advanced spacecraft may occasionally come into close proximity to the space station by accident. These sightings may be the result of unintentional encounters, with aliens quickly maneuvering their craft away to avoid any collisions or disturbances. If advanced beings are real and genuinely advanced, they may possess the ability to cloak or camouflage their spacecraft, rendering them invisible to human detection most of the time. The sightings near the spacecraft might be instances where their cloaking technology momentarily fails or becomes less effective, allowing us to catch a glimpse of their presence. This would explain why such sightings are relatively rare and often dismissed as anomalies. So, what do you make of these interesting stories? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.